Hey, Reese! Hold up. House, not a good time. My wife Debbie, she, she died. Yeah, well, weren't exactly out of the blue, was it? State she was in. Now, I want to see a return on my so-called investment. I, I really don't have the headspace for work right And in the meantime, I want updates. Regular ones. That's not how it was, eh? But these things take time. Well, you do it my way, all right? Or I'll turn you upside down and shake you till the money falls out. It's your choice. I saw you talking to Phil earlier. What did he want? I told him what happened. You know, he was just passing on his condolences. Really? Didn't look like that. Well, I, I suppose. I, I mean, he was hassling me a little bit. Where are you going? I've known Phil Mitchell a very long time, and sometimes he just needs telling straight. I'm just on your way. Reese, don't be silly. Get out of my way. You'll make things worse. Ten times worse. <laughs> Phil will take against me. He'll find me, and I need this job. I especially now with the... No job is worth being spoken to like that. Now, out of my way. You can't talk to Phil. I can, and I will. You can't. Cos I stole from him. I was only thinking about you and the baby. Look, I'm not a bad man. I, I wouldn't do a bad thing unless I couldn't see any other way. You do know me. Fundamentals. I, I promise. Nicking off Phil, of all people. I'm in big trouble, aren't I? What am I going to do? You're going to get your coat on. We're going to get in the car and you're going to go and see Debbie. We'll deal with the rest later. I'll be waiting just outside. Miss Debbie, just talk to her. I'm sorry I wasn't strong enough to help you soon. <laughs> and I hope wherever you are, the sun never stops shining. <laughs> I love you. Debbie was such a good person. She, she wanted me to be happy, you know, to move on. Not so much to look forward to. Hey, Brenda, I, I didn't realise you were coming. Our daughter died. What else would we do? Can't believe she's gone. My little girl's really gone. I, I just don't get it. Um, well, she was stable, and um, I called the care home and they said she was fine. And then I get a call out of the blue saying that she'd gone. Something happened to our little girl. And I'm going to find out what. I'm so sorry for your loss. Ree said that Debbie was a wonderful woman. Yes. Thank you. And who are you? This is Sonia. My landlady. Talk to me, Sonia. Oh, come on, the solitary must not like you. First the stolen money and now this. How can you not have told them about me? Look, it was hard enough telling you about Debbie. Look, I suppose I just... I avoided it. Look, we know we've done nothing wrong, but to them, it'd, it'd be like admitting I cheated on their daughter. I'm a coward. 
No more lies. Promise me. I promise. I'm happy for you, Risa. You never loved her. Not really. Bren, come on. Reese visited Debbie every week, like clockwork. As did I. I sat and held her hand. I didn't see you there. I hope you never have to see a child of yours like that. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Is Phil having trouble with some shifty little four eyes? Oh, you must mean Reese. He's our accountant. Oh, I saw him on the square before and. Well, Phil looked ready to give him a rice. No, he's got a bee in his bonnet about this investment that we set up for us. I think it's legit. Phil doesn't agree. But these things take time to pay off, don't they? And Phil's about as patient as my four-year-old. We must have a reason not to trust the fella. Well, it came out that he's been rinsing his wife for cash to pay for IVF with his girlfriend. But those details don't matter. But now, Phil reckons everything the man does is dodgy. I've made mistakes. But I've sacrificed thousands for Debbie's care. I've lost my home. But I'll pay you and Hugh back every penny. Oh, oh no. This isn't about the cash. No, no, it's, it's about you. And this act you're putting on. Act? Mm. You stole that money because you were dishonest. There's something broken. In you. Yeah, I sensed it the first time Debbie brought you home, and I could never shake it. You're not good, Reese, and you're definitely not the bumbling sweetheart that you're making out to be. <laughs> oh, you might have fooled all them out there, and that, oh, that Sonia one. But I know what you really are. You never liked me. I mean, why are you treating me like this? What did I ever do to you? You know, people used to joke about Debbie marrying her dad. But, do you know, my Hugh, oh, he's got light in him. Whereas all I ever saw in you was weird little corners filled with cobwebs. Debbie got wise to you in the end. Yes, yeah, she used to phone me up and tell me about you. <sighs> your annoying little ways. You're just saying that to hurt me. Oh, she could hardly stand to be near you. It was only a matter of time before she packed up and left. Tragic that she never got the chance. I am going to tell the police about you stealing our money. And when they start digging into you, who knows what they're going to turn up? Got some special access. Surprise. Bro, come on, talk to her. I'll just wait outside. It's three times a week to start. I'm hoping my kidneys will kick in at some point. Try and avoid a transplant. You better have a damn good explanation for this. Using a kid to worm your way back in. I didn't think you could stoop much lower. That is rich coming from you. Thin ice, Priya. Look at Navani can already see your true colours. But if you keep this up, I'm gonna make sure you'll never see them again. Trust me. I can make it happen. Hi, 
obviously burned down whilst I was gone then. Ah, oh, well, there's always next time. <laughs> but you know what, babe? Why don't you take the rest of the afternoon off? You sure? Well, you covered for me earlier. What's it the kids say? Pay it forward. You do not have to tell me that twice. <laughs> Great, I'll see you later. See ya. Come on, then. What have you managed to mess up this time? Now, you're lucky I still let you work here. Electric's gone. Fridge freezer full of food. And I know how profit-driven you are. What, you check the fuse box? What's a fuse box? Get out of my way. It's turned off. Honestly, have you got no life skills at all? Life skills? Not so much. What the hell are you doing? But six months as an exotic dancer taught me a trick or two. All right, Elise, leave me my jacket. What medication's in it? Oh, what? This jacket? Yeah. There you go. Like I said, time to think. Freya! Freya! Just come back! Closed. Electric's gone. She could only stay to put this away. <laughs> Wasting stock, finishing early. Priya's gonna run this place to the ground. Oh, relax. Once it's in your name, we'll be able to get things back on track. What? Because if you're having second thoughts... No, you... I'm, I'm, I'm not. Seriously, I hate him as much as you do. It just feels weird screwing over your dad when he's already a condemned man. Oh, trust me. He'll be proud on some level. Yeah. You know what to say. You need to talk. I need my meds. I'm sick. You are sick. You say you care about your grandkids, but you tell them lies and you keep them away from their mum. You wouldn't do that if you actually cared about them. Good riddance. You're a pig. Just like all the other Panasar men you spawned. Well... Uh... You crossed the wrong one this time. What the hell's going on? Come on, Dad, you're doing good. I can manage. You heard the doctor, I'm fine. You can uh, rest all day. No, I can take him back to house if you want. Well, you've got enough going on with Nugget. I can keep an eye on him. You know, we wouldn't even be in this situation. I haven't been for Priya just... I don't need a reminder of the trauma. She's gonna get what's coming. I'm just glad to have the support of my two loyal sons. My number isn't up just yet. There's plenty more to do. Starting with the call centre. You impressed me this week, Vinny. Saving the deal. Well, I'll have it to help as long as you need it, Dad. Well, it won't be necessary. I'm gonna sign it over. Um... Thanks. Oh, don't be upset, Vinny. I've got bigger and bolder plans for you. You've done your time as The Apprentice. Something wrong. Vinny's a good boy too, you know. Ravi doesn't even want the call centre. Well, like I said, I've got other plans for Vinny. Yeah? 
Like what? That's none of your concern. Right. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. Well, look after yourself. Someone has to. I'm lucky. I've got Eve to look after me. Grandad, I got your message. Thanks for coming. So, what's up? I've got a special job for you. I know how good you are with these socials. Good? I mean, Kimfluence is good. Me? I'm unmatched. I'll prove it. I need you to find someone for me. How much is it worth? <laughs> I can tell you, my granddaughter. You're worth every penny, if you keep it to yourself, not a word, especially to Suki. So who is it that you want me to find? Aisha. Aisha. Aisha Sidhu. She's an old friend of Suki's. I know her too, but, well, but we're not as well acquainted. It's been a while. And as I don't have long left, I just thought it was about time we all reconnected. Okay. I'll go do this for you then. <laughs>